Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to knit the open honeycomb stitch. This is a great beginner lace stitch. It lays flat and it also looks nice on the reverse side. Now this pattern tends to tilt to the left. It can be blocked out, but it'll always have a bit of a bias. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. To see the whole series, click on the link in the top right or in the description. I've got more details about this stitch on my website, including tips and tricks, knitting charts, and how to knit the stitch in the round. Link in the description. So I'm knitting with Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK in the color 408 Vanilla Cream and four millimeter needles. So you're gonna start by casting on an odd number of stitches. Here I've casted on 33 stitches, which is an odd number. All right, so let's get into row one. So for row one, you're going to purl all of your stitches. So that's easy enough. We're just gonna go into the first stitch and purl into it, and purl into the second stitch, and the third stitch. Here we go. And just purl across the entire row. Easy enough, right? If you need a refresher on how to purl, you can check out this video here where I go through the purl stitch in great detail. Otherwise, let's just purl this first row together. All right, here's my last two stitches, and there's my last purl stitch, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna turn my needle over, and the next row, we are going to purl again. <laughs> okay, here we go, so I'm gonna push my needle into my stitch and just purl my second row. All right, now I'm near the end of row two. Here's my last purl stitch. There we go. All right, so now we're on to row three and this is where things get interesting. All right, so we're going to start row three by doing a knit one. So I'm going to push my needle into the first stitch and do a knit one. And then this is our repeat. So the asterisks in this row represent the instructions that need to be repeated. So here we go. We're gonna do a yarn over, and a yarn over is just taking the yarn from the back and bringing it up to the front. So this is the yarn in the back after we've knit our first stitch, and now we're gonna bring the yarn to the front, and that's our yarn over. So yarn over, and we're going to do what's called an SSK. Now SSK stands for slip, slip, knit. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the needle, go into the first stitch or the second stitch, and just slip it off the needle just like that, okay? So we're gonna go in as if we were gonna knit it, okay? So not we're not going in like this, like we're gonna purl. We're gonna go in as if to knit, but instead of knitting, we're just gonna slip it off the needle. So that's our slip, slip. All right, so now we need to knit it. So we're gonna knit these two slip stitches together. Now I'm gonna take my left needle and go underneath these two stitches and go into these two stitches like this. All right, just kind of pick them up almost. And then with the yarn, I'm going to knit these two stitches together, just like that, okay? And that is a slip slip knit, also known as an SSK. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat this section between the asterisks all over again. All right, so let's do that again. So we're going to bring the yarn from the back to the front, and that's our yarn over, our Y-O. And then we're gonna do an SSK, which means slip, slip, knit. So I'm gonna take my right needle, and I'm gonna go into the second stitch as if I was going to knit into it. But I'm not gonna knit into it, I'm just going to go in and slip it off the needle. And I'm gonna do the same to this stitch. I'm gonna go into it as if I were going to knit, and then just slip it off the needle. So that's the slip slip part of the SSK. Now I'm gonna take my left needle and go into these two stitches from the bottom to the top, just like this, okay? So we're gonna go like this. And then with our yarn, we're going to knit these two stitches together. There we go. And that is our SSK. So an SSK reduces two stitches to one stitch. So the two slip stitches have now become this one stitch here. And you might think, well, aren't we just decreasing all of our stitches then? Well, we are kind of, but we're also making up for it with the yarn over. So when we introduce a yarn over, this yarn over actually becomes a new stitch. So let's do this again, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna do a yarn over, and then we're gonna do a slip slip knit. So here we go, go into the stitch as if to knit, slip it right off go into the stitch as if to knit, slip it right off. Then we're gonna use our left needle, go into these two stitches that we've just slipped, 
whoops, there we go. And now we're gonna knit it together. So you can see this yarn here, right? When I knit, whoops, when I knit into these two stitches, this yarn over becomes a new stitch. And these two stitches right here, here I'm gonna knit into it, have now become one stitch, right? So we've made up for that decrease by adding in this yarn over, okay? So if this is confusing and you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. You don't have to understand. Um, just follow the instructions for now and it will make sense eventually. Okay, so let's continue doing this repeat. We're gonna do a yarn over, so bring the yarn up front, slip one, slip two, and then bring our needle underneath or into these two stitches from the bottom to the top, and then knit it together. There we go. And we would repeat these two instructions, yarn over and slip, slip, knit, to the end of the row. So let's do it again, yarn over, slip one as if to knit, slip two as if to knit, and then knit these two stitches together. There we go. All right, so let's work this repeat a few more times. Yarn over, slip, slip, and knit. There we go. Yarn over, slip, slip, and knit. So it's important that you get this repeat because this is really what makes the pattern. The rest of the rows are really just purling, but this is the row where we create those beautiful open laces, and that's what gives this stitch pattern its shape. It's this yarn over and the slip slip knit. All right, so let's do this to the end of the row. So here's my last repeat, yarn over, slip, slip, and let's slip my needle there and knit that together. Cool, so now I've completed my third row and now I'm gonna turn my needle over and work my fourth row and the fourth row is just, you guessed it, it's just purling all of the stitches. So here we go, bring the yarn up front and we'll do a purl stitch just across the whole row. Now, when you're working row four, when you come across the yarn overs, it kind of looks just like a strand of yarn that has no stitch underneath it because we just kind of created this stitch in the previous row. So it, it does look weird, but just knit into it as if it were a normal stitch. Purl and purl. Great, so now I have completed the four row repeat for the open honeycomb stitch. And this is what the repeat looks like after working four rows. So go ahead and repeat rows one to four to create the open honeycomb stitch. So to keep yourself organized as you're knitting the open honeycomb stitch, I recommend just writing out the four rows on a piece of paper and just making a mark every time you finish a row. So I've just finished four rows of the open honeycomb stitch, so I've made a mark on each row. And after I go back to knit row one, I will put a mark there. And after I knit row two again, I'll put another mark. So I know that the next row I need to knit would be row three. Now you don't have to do this, but just because there are three rows of purl stitches, it can get a little bit confusing to try to keep track of the pattern as you knit it. So that's a little tip for you. So after repeating the four rows a couple times, this is what my stitch pattern looks like. Beautiful, open, airy, lacy stitches. So that is how you knit the open honeycomb stitch. Thanks for watching. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. Watch the whole series here or click the link in the description. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.